Good evening and a very warm welcome to our service of choral Evensong here at University College. It is a great joy to welcome you, albeit online, as we resume our services in the Tunstall Chapel and especially with our choir. You can follow the order of service on the Church of England website or on the Church of England daily prayer app. It is particularly helpful if you want to follow the words for the psalm and the lessons. We are using the traditional form of evening prayer. We are broadcasting our services on the University College Chapel YouTube channel and the Castle Chapel Facebook page. Again, welcome. for tonight is Psalm 101, 101, which our choir will now sing.
The first reading is taken from Genesis chapter 7, from verse 11 till the end. In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the selfsame day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them, into the ark. They and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him. And the Lord shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bare up the ark, and it was lift up above the earth. And the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the ark, and the ark went upon the face of the waters. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered, and all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle, and of beast, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, and every man. All in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry land, died. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle, and the creeping things, and the fowl of the heaven. And they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only, and Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days. Here endeth the reading.
The second reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 15 to 28. So when you see the desolating sacrilege standing in the holy place as was spoken of by the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand, then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Someone on the housetop must not go down to take what is in the house. Someone in the field must not turn back to get a coat. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on the Sabbath. For at, the sa for at that time there will be a great suffering, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now. No, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no one would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then, if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and produce great signs and omens, to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Take note, I have told you beforehand. So if they say to you, Look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, Look, he is in the inner room, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so will, the, will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Here endeth the reading.
and appointed for tonight is D. Koeniger, The Three Kings, by Peter Cornelius and Philip Nicolai, in an arrangement by Andrew Sims. Let us pray. We pray for our community, dispersed in many parts of the country and in many regions around the world. We pray for a sense of connection and that we may build together a strong sense of belonging and care for each other in spite of many obstacles. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. On this second day of the week of prayer for Christian unity, we pray for humility and the desire to seek unity and embrace differences. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray for musicians and artists. O God, whom saints and angels delight to worship in heaven, be ever present with your servants who seek through art and music to perfect the praises offered by your people on earth and grant to them even now glimpses of your beauty and make them worthy at length to behold it unveiled forevermore. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we conclude our prayers in the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.